Alright guys, so today we're gonna install GitLab. Um, so first you wanna go to the um, GitLab package repo, right? And then you wanna choose whatever your repo you're using. Um, I'm using GitLab EE, which is the Interfy edition. And I will put the link in the description below. Um, so I want the latest one, a uh, version. So the latest version is 15.6 and my what do you call it? My OS is Ubuntu. So I'm going to put in here 15.6 and then search. And then I'm going to use Ubuntu into here as a distribution. And then search for that. And then it will give you the auto Ubuntu distro. All right. So I'm using Bionic and I'm going to choose this. Then I'm going to download this down right there. Take a few minutes. All right, so my environment is pretty much locked down, so I don't want anything to go out from to GitLab.com to install the repo. Another way you can do is you can follow the instruction on GitLab uh, installation, and the process here is like you run the um, app get update and then install the necessary package to open SSH and then certification. Then after that, you will. Um, install the repo location which is that GitLab like I say I don't want to let thing out so if you have internet access outbound uh, you can follow this step to run this but I'm just gonna download this and install it manually all right guys so after you download the file and transfer it up to the server which I have right here what you want to do is run the dpkg command and do a dash i to install the file all right. So it's going to run for a bit, uh, maybe five minutes or so. So go get a coffee or something. All right. So now once it's finished installation, you should get this uh, logo right here, get that. And then it's going to say, okay, go please configure your external URL. All right. And the file is just at this location. Um, at C GitLab dot Ruby. All right, so we're gonna do that real quick. All right, so when we after we edit this file, we have to run the reconfigure uh, command right here for it to update it. Okay, so just put your IP in here. And save. Then we have to run the config command again. All right, so now it's finished. Now we're going to try to hit the URL web page. All right, so now you can go hit the URL. And there you go. Your GitLab is up. And to log in is that put in root. And to get the password, the password that is hell is actually in here in this file um, Etsy GitLab initial root pa password so this is what you're going to need right here for your root login go to root and paste the password in sign in right there so now you got your GitLab set up all right and you guys can also sign up for a try out uh, the trial version for ultimate for 30 days by just signing up using your company email and uh, once you get this um, it will send you the code um, then once you put it in you have access to all of the feature like uh, security scanning vulnerability reports and all that stuff and the CI right so the main thing is that 
the security compliance yeah that i'm interested and i'm going to show you guys it on another video how to set it up to run the security scanning for the code so if you guys enjoyed the video please hit the like and the subscribe button and i will see you guys on the next video